The production process of AAC block and panel. The first step is to grind fly ash or sand through using a ball mill and make the mixture into a form of slurry to store in tanks. Cement and processed lime are conveyed to silos for storage respectively. Meanwhile, the wire straightening and cutting machine uncoils, straightens the steel wire and cuts it to the required lengths for longitudinal bars and crossbars. The adjusted and cut steel bars are welded into meshes by using the multi-point welding machine automatically or into cages by the spot welder corresponding to the desired panel size and strength. After being dipped in the anti-corrosion liquid and dried in the drying oven, the coated reinforcement meshes or cages are assembled with frames and positioned by holding pins. Then, they will be lifted to the appointed position by the crane, preparing to be fixed into mold. The prepared raw materials shall be weighted by electronic scales and then conveyed into the pouring mixer for high-speed mixing. All of the weighing processes are controlled by the PLC system automatically. During scaling and mixing, the empty mold is conveyed onto the pouring ferry cart, preparing for pouring. The mixed slurry of raw materials is poured into the empty mold through the up and down pouring device. The filled mold is transported from the pouring ferry cart to the appointed rail. When the mold leaves the ferry cart, the bubble processing machine starts to vibrate in order to remove big bubbles caused by pouring. During block production, the mold is directly conveyed to the pre-curing room by friction wheels for curing under constant temperature. For panel production, the mold shall be transported to the pre-curing room after meshes or cages are plugged into it by the crane. When the cake reaches the cutting required hardness after pre-curing, the mold is conveyed onto pre-curing ferry cart by friction wheels directly if only producing blocks. For panel production, the assembled frame and holding pins shall be pulled out of the mold prior to cutting. Then the mold can be conveyed onto ferry cart by friction wheels. Pre-curing ferry cart transports the mold to the locating position after tilting hoister, which then takes the located mold to cutting line. The tilting hoister turns the mold over by 90 degrees and puts it onto the first cutting cart for demolding. Then, the empty mold will be assembled with a cleaned side plate and taken to returning line for oiling waiting for the next pouring. The first cutting cart carries the green cake passing through the horizontal cutting machine for six surfaces cutting or sides grooving. Then the green cake continuously moves to the vertical cutting machine. The exchange device jacks up the cake as well as the side plate for vertical cutting. During vertical cutting process, pneumatic cylinder tension device swings back and forth. After the cutting process, the second cutting cart comes to carry this cake together with the side plate to the semi-finished product hoister, which will take the green cake to the tilting table to remove the waste at the top and bottom. After waste removal, the cake will be conveyed by the semi-finished product hoister to the trolley for grouping.
The grouped trolley will then be conveyed by friction wheels to the grouping ferry cart, which carries the trolley to certain rail for autoclave grouping. After the completion of the whole grouping process, the whole line of trolleys will be pushed into the autoclave together by the drawing mechanism. The autoclaving finished products will then be pulled out of the autoclave by the drawing mechanism automatically. Trolleys are then separated by the automatic hook releasing device and conveyed to the after autoclave ferry cart one by one by the drawing mechanism and friction wheels. Then the ferry cart carries the trolleys to the returning line. The finished product loading hoister will take the mature cake onto the transverse device which conveys it to the lifting platform under the separator. The mature cake is then separated by the separating frame device when the lifting platform elevates it. After being separated, the mature cake will be conveyed to the finished product clamping hoister by side plate rollers. Locks and panels are then classified and taken to the packing line by the finished product hoister for stacking and strapping. After packaging, the finished products will be taken to the storage yard by forklifts or transported to the construction site directly. The processes of this production line shall be repeated continuously according to the above process flow.